What is the difference between heterotrophic bacteria and autotrophic bacteria? Heterotrophic bacteria consume decayed organic compounds such as fish poop, food, and the dead leaves of plants. As it consumes these organic compounds, heterotrophic bacteria produces chemical waste into the water in the form of ammonia. That is where autotrophic bacteria come in to save the day. Unlike the former, autotrophic bacteria have a specialized chemical diet. They consume the ammonia that is produced by the former and converts this toxic chemical into a less toxic chemical known as nitrate. This leads us to our next question. What is a bacterial bloom and why does it make our water cloudy? To answer this question, we must first delve into the reproductive cycles of both heterotrophic and autotrophic bacteria. Heterotrophic bacteria multiply at a rate of around once every 15 minutes, while the autotrophic bacteria is only capable of multiplying at a much slower rate of around once every 24 hours. When hobbyists such as myself refer to a bacterial bloom, we are most often talking about a sudden cloudiness occurring in a newly set up aquarium. This cloudiness is caused by the quick reproduction of the heterotrophic bacteria and the microorganisms known as infusoria who feed off the bacteria, which one can clearly see with the naked eye solely due to its enormous population. Over time, these heterotrophic bacteria will settle and thrive on the surfaces within your aquarium and the cloudiness will dissipate. While this bacterial bloom is a sign that your aquarium is in the beginning stages of cycling, it does not suggest that an adequate amount of autotrophic bacteria is present in the aquarium to convert toxic chemicals into the less toxic chemical compound nitrate. Since autotrophic bacteria reproduce at a much slower rate than heterotrophic bacteria, it takes much longer to build colonies large enough to convert the waste produced by the heterotrophic bacteria into its less toxic form. Bringing us to our final question. How do we know when our aquarium is completely cycled? And the answer is simple. Given enough time, the autotrophic bacteria will eventually catch up to its heterotrophic counterpart. By this time, it is capable of converting the ammonia produced by the heterotrophic bacteria just as quickly as the ammonia becomes present in the water column. Simple tests can be performed to show whether the nitrification cycle of your aquarium has found its balance. We must test our water column for the presence of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. In a balanced aquarium, these tests will show there is zero parts per million ammonia, zero parts per million nitrite, and the final test should show some presence of nitrate. These tests can be found at any aquarium store and I suggest that you perform these tests yourself. Thank you for watching this short video on the difference between heterotrophic bacteria and autotrophic bacteria. I hope you were able to learn something today. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments what you would like to know next.